No, because she may be a 50 to 1 shot, but Miss United has bags of support. And this is her trainer, Michael Winters. And she's a star, this mare, because she'll do anything, won't she? She'll jump, she'll go on the flat, whatever you want. Yeah, she's very versatile. And um, she won well last week in Leperstown. And, you know, she's very loose and she's well since. And she travelled over very well. And we were out in the track yesterday morning and, um, what you call it, she seemed to enjoy herself. So we're not a bit, we're taking it very easy now. It's something that came very easy for the mare. She loves travelling, I say. And how are you enjoying the experience? Because this is your first runner at Royal Ascot. Well, um, I was looking, I mean, I see the carriages come in and stuff like that. And from seeing television to seeing it live, it's a bit special to see it live. And um, I was even seeing yourself in the fish. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Your jockey, Jim Crowley, has just arrived, so I will let okay. you talk to him. And best yeah. of luck, Thanks Michael. Bye. Thank you very much. Let's just take you on a winner if there was going to be one. Oh, do you know what? I'd be the greatest winner of all, just purely for entertainment value. Miss United. If that won, Michael Winters, I don't know if you've... I met him, I just did Oh, he is yeah. hilarious. Uh, but he is a great trainer. And, like, this mayor has won a Galway hurdle. She's won a flat race last time so it wouldn't be the biggest surprise in the world it would be a bit of a fairy tale though well here we go we will find out very shortly here's simon for the gold cup all set and away they race simonon restrained by frankie de Tori, leaving the starting stores as they make the long run towards the stands see just passing the six furlong marker six furlongs plus plus a circuit in this gold cup brown panther in the light blue jacket is right there and now miss united towards the outside coming to take over leading light is kept out wide in these early stages by joseph o'brien in the purple and the white jacket sadler's rock in yellow and red is close up altano on the far side estimate in fifth or sixth at the moment in the royal colors the scarlet sleeves black velvet cap worn by ryan moore as they continue their way towards the stands alzima is smothered up royal diamond towards the outside oriental fox just behind them with ralston road towards the inside followed up the inside by schwayman who's wearing a noseband and then further back is uh, havana beat and simonon is last of all so making their way towards the grandstands here for this the centerpiece of the third day at Royal Ascot the Gold Cup and out in front is Miss United from Brown Panther in second Royal Diamond on the outside of the favorite leading light then Altano Sandler's Rock is out deep at estimate then Ralston Road up the inside Oriental Fox Azima in the all blue of Godolphin worn by Kieran Fallon and the last three Schwayman Havana beat and Simonon is just a couple of lengths or so detached as they race past the judge with a circuit of the course in front of them. About to swing right-handed then, and it's Miss United and Jim Crowley that sets the pace. To Royal Diamond in second, Brown Panther is very handy on the inside in third. Leading light is fourth, followed by Altano under Eduardo Pedroza, the German-based Panamanian jockey. Then Estimate on the outside of Ralston Road. Further back is Sadler's Rock, Oriental Fox. Then uh, after the Schwayman, Alzima, Havana Beat, two and a half lengths last is Simonon. Heading now towards the final 11 furlongs on the descent towards Swinley Bottom and about 12 to 15 lengths first to last with Simonon still out the back. They may be packing together slightly now and Miss United continues to lead the way on the near side of Royal Diamond out wide under Richard Hughes. Brown Panther continues in third. White Face leading light and Altano racing together. Then Estimate. Ralston Road on the inside of Oriental Fox. Towards the outside is Sadler's Rock. Also wide is Arzima. Maybe just nudged along Arzima. Then Schwayman followed uh, out the back by Havana beat and finally Simonon. Now they race into Swinley Bottom, just under a mile left to travel, and Miss United has made most from in second Royal Diamond. Third is Brown Panther, then leading light on the outside of Altano. Very few changes for a while. Estimate, Ralston Road is right there. And then behind these uh, is Arzima coming under increasing amounts of pressure. Schwayman's on the inside, Sadler's Rock is out wide. Meanwhile, Miss United just upping the ante slightly, kicks a couple of lengths clear of Royal Diamond in second place, Brown Panther 
Samantha. Joseph O'Brien looking comfortable on leading light. Ryan Moore looking comfortable on estimate as well. Uh, making some ground now is Simonon in the hands of Frankie Dottori passing a few as they make their way towards the home turn with about four and a half furlongs left to cover. Miss United leading the way. Royal Diamond looks flat to the boards. Then Brown Panther. Sadler's Rock leading light is now woken up. Estimate still travelling notably well as they race into the turn. Simonon also looks a threat. Last year's runner-up as they about to swing the corner. They're homeward bound in the Gold Cup. Miss United leading them in from Brown Panther in second. Estimate now being angled out but leading light is keeping her in under Joseph O'Brien then Ozima and Simonon as they head down towards the final furlong and a half or so. Miss United Estimate had to be switched to the inside. She's coming through between Miss United and Brown Panther. Leading light battling on. Four in a line very close together. Leading light just takes over. Estimate on the far side with Miss United and then Brown Panther inside the final furlong. Leading light from Estimate and Miss United. They race for the line. Leading light is just doing enough to win and deny Estimate with Miss United battling on tremendously on the rail. Then came Seminon from Brown Panther fighting it out. Followed next by Oriental Fox. Further back then was Schwayman and Altano and Havana beat Alzima towards the back. Sadler's Rock, Royal Diamond, Rolston Road. Leading light, the favourite has prevailed at 11 to 10 on a sixth gold cup for trainer Aidan O'Brien. That's a record in the hands of Joseph O'Brien. One of the most thrilling gold cup finishes I can remember. A mighty run from Estimate in defence of her crown and Miss United battling on tremendously well on the fence. What a race. Unbelievable, unbelievable. That was an incredible finish to the Gold Cup. At the end of two and a half miles, that horses can still keep giving that much, be so close at the line. Miss United finishing third, having made nearly every yard of the running. That's a massive run from her at 40 to 1.